Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's September 1st. We're starting a new month, and it's mostly sideways today. There's not a lot of trades today. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the year where you're just not going to get many opportunities. Uh, we had a big sell-off here, but I don't really see anything I like to enter. There's, there's a possibility right here, because you can clearly see this short-term channel and that is a failed second entry long but generally you want that to be off the EMA and not so close to the lows uh, but you could make a case for that one we could make that one green but I'm still not crazy about it I think it's a little aggressive and you're going some of the you're going to have some losers if you trade those so um, there is a second entry here but that's just two sideways too so there's a few other trades in here but I just don't like any of them. But we'll, we'll go through these quickly. It won't take long. But you can clearly see the bigger picture here. We fell out early, but we didn't bounce out of here. It took we. Eventually, you know it's got to get out of this yellow channel. We, we actually broke higher or failed, but we still couldn't get below this low. And so it rallied a little bit and then sold off. And so um, interesting day. We closed pretty much close to where we... Uh, this was the close from yesterday, so we closed almost unchanged from yesterday. We're just doing some consolidation, I believe, now after the big move up. Uh, we'll just have to see. There's a couple of gaps on the chart from a few days back, uh, a week or so back, and we may be trying to feel. But anyway, let's uh, zoom in here, talk about these trades, and wrap this day up. I'm a little late getting this done, so I'm going to try to move on through it and get it up and get it posted for Everybody would like to see the trade. So uh, 7 o'clock comes right on this. Notice we had this move down. We had a break and two legs up. And so you'd still expect prices to try to make a lower leg down here. Um, there is a second entry short right there. And that's a triple, at least a triple test up there. So I like that trade. There's a lower high here. It actually breaks higher and turns down. I'm not as crazy about this trade simply because you got to go short right into the EMA. You could wait till this close and drop your sell stop right there, and then you're entering on the other side of the EMA, EMA if it breaks lower. Um, it's real close to being red, but I'm just a little leery of that EMA right there. Um, just not crazy about it. So the better entry is the second entry right there. Um, if you do take this one, one thing about it is you probably get a runner here. Depends on how you played it, really, but you could get a runner there, and that's a nice move down. Um, there's another second entry here, but your signal bar is not very good. If you had a good signal bar there, by all means, go short right there because you're still expecting a test of the lows here after that nice move down. And then we actually bounce down here at the overnight lows. Somebody asked me about buying these blind like this. Um, I don't recommend it. I would at least wait on your signal bar to form, and if you get a good signal bar, maybe. But buying blind, uh, let me give you an example. Well, we don't really have one today, but you can see if you bought this blind right in here, it moved six points against you before it bounced, and then it went lower still. So you can't risk that this could keep going lower and so you had to ride six points out and then it only got back to scratch maybe and it went down again and went another point so it's just not worth trying to buy those blindly at least wait on a good signal bar like so and then buy uh, you see if you got a break above that signal bar you get a, you would at least got a scalp out of it same thing here uh, signal bar wasn't any good on any of these uh, you had a good signal bar here, but it never broke higher. So uh, if you just waited on a signal bar, you can see there you'd been better off. So um, you don't want to be trying to buy these bounces. But we do bounce here. You don't get a signal bar. You don't really get a higher low until way up here. And you don't want to be going long at the highs here. But notice what happens. This is a little spiking channel. You get a close outside, move to a new high, and you get a short right there. Perfect setup. Uh, this is an inside bar, but it's so bearish and it's got matching highs. That one's hard to pass up. 
that's a that's a nice move right there again if you get that one short you definitely get a runner on this and you get several points out of that one uh, there's at least six points in there so if you can get three or four of them you've done pretty good five you seem better so uh, nice trade there you do get another second entry right here but too congestive looking and you see what happened you would have gotten busted and probably stopped out right there you do get a nice signal bar here but after being in this little range and dropping down you actually get a failed i started out with a little tight congestion there with a failed breakout and a failed breakout but comes to find out we're just we're really in this trading range here and there's just no trades in there at all there's nothing i see that i'd want to trade there uh, maybe that short right there, small bar, uh, you don't really have this trend line in place yet. So that's a possibility. This has actually moved on me. So that's a possibility that you might take. You would have at least got a scalp out of it. And it is a triple test and a fairly bearish bar. But it's just not much room in there, and it's, you're just playing with fire with that trade. There's nothing in there I think is worth risking. Uh, if anything, you might take a long right here, but that's just so congestive, and it's not very high to the uh, other side of the little channel that's working up here. But that's a possibility. But again, you've got some highs here, so you might have adjusted this by the end to right here, which is what I did later on. And... Uh, we end up with a failed breakout here. I was looking for a possible measured move, but notice you get a little close outside, move to a new high. And so you might take that, but you're generally better off to wait on a lower high. Somebody asked me, so if you'd entered here, you'd probably had a loser. But notice too, there's a couple other things. There's no break of this channel yet. So that doesn't come till here and then your new high. So you gotta be really careful fading the first breakouts. You really wanna wait on a, low or high off the highs or high or low off the lows if you're if it's a breakout on this end but anyway you get your clothes outside and move to a new high nice bear signal bar a little bit of room back to the ema you may take that trade the better one's to wait on this lower high look at that nice signal bar it's an easy trade and it goes right to the other side just like you would expect and bounces and this is where we come back up and we push out we push back and there's a failed second entry short right there. I like that trade um, because we've pushed out already and we just pushed out again. So we're probably going to make another leg up at a minimum like this one. And we might be finally bottoming out. So, but I'd look for a minimum of a leg. And you can see we got a lot of selling right there. And that went a perfect measured move almost based on the channel, uh, the yellow channel. And it turned back down again. So no chance to short this one, though. You're still in this channel. And you see this is why it just keeps working higher. We actually do get an overshoot up here, which leads to a reversal. Um, and that, that's why you don't really get a break in a new eye. When you get an overshoot, a lot of times you'll just reverse, especially on a range-type day or a, micro, a smaller channel like this. this is, I wouldn't really call that a micro channel, but it's a smaller channel. Uh, you get a lower high right here, still a little room back to the EMA, but my bar, that's just not quite good enough signal bar in an uptrend. Uh, I'd want to wait on the reversal, which comes right here. We already talked about it. It's a little bit aggressive because it doesn't set up perfect, but because of that trend line, uh, that really confirms that trend line, and uh, you may take that trade. It's a little aggressive. Then we come down here and we just start working sideways. Nothing in there, unfortunately. So you don't get a chance to go to ride the rest of this down to the lows. And we bounce out of there. You really get a close outside and a new high all in one bar, and then it turns down. Really what happens, you just have this trend line here. Uh, again, no entries in there. And then you come back first entry and then a second entry. Nice bearish bar. This is a little close to the lows, so you may let that break lower and then drop a limit order in there, but um, there's a good chance you may get another leg like that. You have to be careful with these lows. You just want to have room to scalp out before getting it. This one, you 
think about, but this one's the most important one, the, the last low on the, before the second entry triggered. So you might want to let it break lower and drop a limit order, which you could have got filled several ticks back in this and given you plenty of room. It wouldn't have mattered. You had enough room anyway, but you don't know that. So you want to be real careful about it. And then it bounced and that took us into two o'clock. So just not a lot. Another one of those days. I mean, there's a few trades in here, but you had to be really patient. About 10 o'clock, I just said to heck with it. Close this thing in. I didn't close it up, but I just quit looking at the chart and took care of some other stuff. So um, it's not a good trading day. These days are, especially when you get in these real tight ranges like this, just not much that you got to work with. So uh, it was a little surprised to see this rally. Uh, you know, eventually, if you can't go lower, you're going to have to, they're going to at least take it higher and trap people. And that's what they probably did. They ran this up, got the buyers law. Loading up and then they, and then it reverses. They they quit. You know the big guys quit buying and the bottom falls out of it, and the little guys all have to run for the heels. That's kind of how that how it works. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's what I saw today. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.